Okay, folks, as promised, here we are. Uh, Kiowa TV is um, in the backyard of Edna's house here on Kiowa Island. And we're here with Justin Kaur. Justin's with the Conservancy, and of course, then there's Edna. And we're gonna we're gonna take a walk. And for those of you on this island that have never seen or don't know how to identify a tallow tree, we're gonna do that for you. Um, and uh, is this a tallow tree here, Justin? Um, no, that is not a tallow tree. Yeah, that's not a tallow <laughs> tree, is it? Let's see. If is this a tallow tree right here? This? No, this isn't a tallow tree. This is a wax myrtle. So Justin, come come up in front and, t and tell me why, as we walk, we don't want tallow trees. Um, tallow trees are an exotic invasive plant. Um, they can harm the ecosystem at Kiowa just by um, out-competing native plants and also um, invading freshwater wetlands. Uh, basically, they uh, can just overtake an environment and um, take out all the understory, which of course is bad for wildlife too. They grow fast? They grow very fast, very aggressive. And they're hard to get rid of. Right. It's so a, are we looking at a tallow tree? Yes, this we're is looking kind at of a, a tallow kind tree. kind of a mature tallow tree. Okay. If you, if you look at the bark, that'll help you identify. And of right. course the leaves up there, um, the shape of the leaf will help you identify. But this basically is the bark and that's the way it looks. Yeah, notice that the bark on the pine tree is, is a darker shade than the bark on the tallow tree, which is behind. Let's go find another one. So here is what a baby tallow tree looks like. It, this thing is probably two feet high, three feet high. Sure. And, um, and uh, Edna, you've already cut this down and this is how fast oh, it comes back. Oh, I sure back. did. I mean, not a month ago. Amazing. It comes yeah. back that fast. It loves water. And that's what the leaves look like. So uh, if you're in your backyard and you're seeing these uh, fellows, um, there is something that you can do about it. Now, here's one that's not, uh, doesn't have the bark yet. It's, it's that young, so you really ha have a hard time telling. People call them popcorn trees, right. and they're real pretty, so people don't want to cut them down. They think they're really, uh, really okay. All right. But the leaves, again, are the telltale sign, because that little one we just saw has the same leaves as this one, right? Right. So you can tell, even though the bark is not the same. So Justin, uh, how do we get rid of these things? Is there Are there some programs in place on the island that the Conservancy has? Um, there are some programs in place. Um, maybe the easiest thing to do is to call Kika, call um, Dave at the land management office. Um, they can come treat trees that are, that are bigger than this. Um, sometimes when they're a little bit smaller than this one, you can actually just pull them up out of the ground that's the easiest thing to do, but you have to you have to be vigilant about it and keep an eye out because they often come back. Um, but with the larger trees, Dave can come out and treat those. And in some cases, if they're too large for the community association, you can um, rely on your arborist and they can come treat those. Uh, tell me, Justin, uh, talk to me for a sec about the way the R ARB feels about these uh, things. Is it okay for me to just cut one down without having to ask? Um, yes, the ARB is very supportive of uh, tallow tree removal efforts on the island. So thanks guys. Thanks. Thank thanks, you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks very much. Take care. In about a month or so we're all we're gonna be back and we're gonna go through um, go to another place and find something else we don't want here and figure out how to get rid of it.